All right, basically, I'm taking a look at this Blue Griffin software, and I just wanted to make a quick video pointing out the usefulness of it. Um, you know, if you look... You know, at a site like this, for example, um, I don't know what this is. Oh, I guess that's a... Anyway, if you look at a site like this, you know, and you look at the source, you know, uh, and this is in Chrome, if you go like, you know, you know, view source, you know, it gives you this, basically, okay, which, you know, some of it's somewhat readable, most of it's a bunch of just absolute gibberish. I mean, anybody that says they can read this crap is totally full of shit, um, and if they are... You know, I mean, if they can't say they can read that shit, you know, uh, like they're on the Matrix or something, you know, just flip them off and tell them to go fuck themselves. Um, but basically, um, this same page on, um, you know, in Blue Griffin, you know, you can kind of see how this, uh, I, I still don't know how to really work this thing, because I just really started using it. Um, I don't know if you can freaking zoom in and out or not. I guess not. Um, you know, because this is a free version of it. Um, but in any event, you know, you can actually see the difference. You know, this is a way, 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 way more readable than that other you know, what you see in Google is just the raw source. I assume this is all the same stuff. I mean, I could be wrong. I mean, maybe those big blocks of, you know, like weird code are, you know, are not included in this. I don't know. I mean, you know, converter, you know, I, I wonder if they have a search feature. I can try to see if, uh, you know, try to see if this is in here. Um, Uh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I mean, so is this their find window? What the hell? I don't know. I guess that means it can't find it. So, I mean, maybe this is, that isn't in here. I don't know. This could be just pure HTML. Um, but still, even just the fact that it kind of sorts that out. I mean, you know, this is nowhere near... Um, You know, this is nowhere near as readable as this is. So, you know, like I said, there's just really no comparison between the two. This is a lot more information, you know, than would, you know, I don't know. It just makes me wonder if the whole thing really is in there. You know, let's see. What they're, you know, yeah, they're, like I said, the search capabilities aren't very good. The control F. It's a density converter. Because this looks like HTML to me, but it's not presented that way. Um, so that's what's weird about it. And that's you know that's Google's tools for you. Um, well like I said this is a lot more readable and what's cool though is that you know you can select things like this and see it'll it'll go to the element um, where it's at in the HTML document. So, you know, unit converter, well, it took us right there, right? And, you know, like here, it's taking us to that line of text. Okay, and I guess that, you know, assumes that it's in that box. And you can go think, do things like that, you know, and change the color of certain items. <laughs> Although I thought I was going to change the color of this, and it changed the color of that. So, um, it would be nice if they had a fucking you know, arrow tool like you see here instead of that cursor thing, but uh, most of the time. I mean, I can see why, you know, because like I said, I can, you know, if I do this, <laughs> so, you know, you can see what I just did there. It's pretty cool. But um, in any event, though, you know, um, 
and I haven't looked into this yet, but uh, Firefox actually has a development edition, which looks really cool. Uh, I, I, I downloaded it, but I, I haven't um, been able to figure it out, because it's like just like their regular browser, but I, I, you know, I assume there's uh, more to it than that, because it does look like it has more tools, but I, I don't have a clue how to use it. So, um, you know, so you can, you know, like look that up. Um, Say Firefox Developer Edition. So um, come on. Okay. You can kind of see some of the stuff that you know, see, it looks pretty cool, you know, some of the things this, this can do. I mean, it looks like it's a pretty much of a WYSIWYG kind of deal. You see them modifying this and changing the code parameters, you know, uh, as they play around like I'm doing with this. So, you know, because this Blue Griffin is not, you know, free software. I don't know how much it is. I'm going to find out. Um, basic license. Oh, okay, and you can buy it. I guess that means buy it, buy it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if they're renting it. Like $195 a month, you know. Um, Single computer, you can uh, single user on a single computer. You can always deactivate already activated license to switch user computer. Okay, that's good. Yeah, but it looks like you can actually buy it by it. So, um, you get a basic license, and then a, you know, I don't know what the <laughs> I don't know what the difference between these two are, but. Um, a basic license versus a EPUB license. I guess for electronic publishing. Um, I don't know. But in any event, you know, it's, it's not terrible. I mean, it's not terribly expensive. Um, but, you know, so again, I, I, I don't know. You know, one of the things that really put me off, though, is that it, even to get the manual from these guys, do they have a free, like, manual online? No, they try to charge you for it. So, I mean, I, that kind of leaves a bad fucking taste in my mouth right there. Um, and it's really hard to find any kind of videos or anything that are any kind of, you know, that are recent at all. Or any kind of tutors that are recent on how to use this thing. Which makes you think these assholes are going around suing everybody. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but I, I don't know why I can't find videos on, on, you know, on how to do it that are fairly, how to use this goddamn thing, you know, they're fairly useful, or, I mean, recent, let alone uh, written tutors even, you know, I'm having a hard time finding anything on it, really, that's not, you know, like, the better part of a decade old, so, you know, either nobody's using it, or, uh, or these guys are putting a stop to anybody that tries to, to be helpful out there, which is bullshit, so, I, I don't know. Um, but in any event, uh, it just looks interesting, you know, is why I brought it up. And like I said, this part of it really is free. Um, you know, it's based on open source software, so that's kind of ridiculous. I mean, you know, in theory, somebody could do kind of exactly what they're doing, you know, because they base it off some previous people's open source code uh, from, like, Netscape or something. But at any rate, uh, I thought I'd point that out.